Don't throw out your tea leaves after one brewing. In this video, we're going to show you how you can get three cups of tea out of the same leaves. The second and third brewing can have just as much flavor as the first brewing, and sometimes even more. Let's jump right in and explore with the Nuruki Shincha. Okay, so what we have here is five grams of the Nuruki Shincha. Um, so this is a Shincha tea coming from Mr. Nuruki in Shiran. It's a beautiful little town in southern Japan. It's, it's way out on the southern tip of uh, Kyushu, the main southern island. I got the privilege of, of visiting Mr. Nuruki uh, a couple years ago um, and trying a few of the different teas from him, uh, like the Shizuku Sencha, the Nohana Sencha, and the Nuruki Shincha. Um, so this is probably the most popular tea from Mr. Nuruki. Uh, and we're going to be tasting it today. And the focus of today's video is going to be why you shouldn't throw out your tea leaves after brewing them one time. So this is a mistake that I think most of us make as beginners. Um, I certainly made it when I was just starting out with tea. I would get that first infusion and I was, you know, really excited about trying different types of teas. So I would kind of brew the tea once, throw out the leaves, then brew the next tea. Uh, and this is something that you are missing out if you're doing because uh, there's definitely a lot to be had from the second and third infusion of the tea, and we're going to explore that today. So I have about 60 degrees Celsius water. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. And one thing you'll notice just by looking at the leaves is there's a lot of these smaller leaf particles. And this is because the Nuruki Shincha is a deep steam tea. So during the longer steaming process, you know, most Japanese green teas are steamed between 60 and 90 seconds. Uh, the Fukumushi teas are steamed for over 90 seconds, so up to 200 seconds. And during this time, the, the tea leaf's broken down, so it becomes a little more brittle, a little more fragile. And then when it's sitting in this pack here, it's going to break into those smaller leaf particles. So normally this would be an indicator of like a lower quality tea. Um, but in the case of the Nuruki, it's actually just showing you that it is, in fact, a Fukumushi tea. So another benefit of the Fukumushi Sencha is you have this really bright jade green color. And we're actually going to be doing it a little bit differently today going to be doing multiple infusions at once so we can compare them. So the mistake that you might make is throwing these tea leaves out after you have the first brewing, uh, but what we're going to do today is actually brew it two more times and I'm going to show you how much flavor comes from the second and third brewing. But for the second and third brewing you just need 20 seconds. Uh, the first brewing we're going to be doing 45 seconds with a Fukumushi tea because those smaller leaf particles have more relative surface area, so they're going to infuse more quickly. And this is actually mistake number two I was going to show you, uh, and that's using a teapot with a built-in clay filter for these Fukumushi teas. Um, because these Fukumushi teas, because they have these smaller leaf particles, they clog very easily. So what you may want to do if you're really getting serious about Fukumushi Sencha, is get uh, a teapot that has a circular metal filter. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow the water to move around uh, the sides of the teapot if there is a clog, and it makes it much less likely that you're going to clog your teapot. So um, if you find that you're using, you know, so this right here is the black Tokonami Kyusu, it's got a built-in clay filter, if you find that you're using this teapot and it's difficult to pour the Fukumushi Sencha, you may want to look into the Fukumushi teapot. So normally this tea actually has a kind of a yellowish first infusion, and then the second and third infusions are really dark green. This time I think because the water was so concentrated, because the leaf to water ratio was lower, um, we ended up with three super green infusions. These super green teas, these super flavorful teas, are things that you would have missed out on if you had just thrown out the tea leaves after one brewing. So you definitely want to make sure to reuse 
your tea leaves as much as possible, particularly with these Fukumushi teas, because they're going to get super flavorful in the second and third brewing. Okay, so the first brewing first. Oh, wow. Really powerful. Definitely getting this sweet corn note from this, from this infusion. Oh, it's really nice. It's, it's a little bit bitter, I'll be honest, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it, actually. It's like, it's like a crisp kind of, crisp kind of bitterness that really balances out the flavors of the tea. Yeah, I do, I really like this in the, kind of this leaf to water ratio that we did. Um, we did five grams of leaves and then, you know, maybe a hundred milliliters of water, which normally we do 150. Second one. Oh, interesting. Hmm. A little more acidity with the second brewing. A little bit more of these steamed vegetable notes coming out. So typically what you have is you have a first brewing that's got most of the sweetness of the tea. And then the second brewings of a Fukumushi, second brewing, third brewing, they actually get more powerful. They get more powerful with flavor, which is kind of counterintuitive. But I think, I'm not an expert on this, but I think the reason for this is, is you see these leaves, they're really kind of starting to break down in the teapot and they're giving a lot of their flavor into the later infusions of the tea. Uh, so, you know, this you could definitely brew two more times and still have a lot of flavor because these leaves are kind of breaking down. Uh, and that's something that you get from the deep steaming process is you're kind of breaking down the, the cell, the cell walls and the cell membranes of the, the tea leaf and you're able to extract a lot more in the infusion. So you should never throw out the tea leaves after one brewing, but certainly not with Fukumushi Center because there's a lot of um, flavor that you're going to be unlocking in the later brewings. Yes, this one's definitely sweeter. So this one has the sweetness, but this one has more raw power, I would say, than the third brewing. Okay, yeah. There's definitely some, some more acidity in here, a little more minerality, but the, uh, the steamed vegetable notes are, are definitely coming through here. So when we're talking about steamed vegetables, we're talking, you know, baby spinach, we're talking edamame, um, in the case of the first brewing, we're, we're talking some sweet corn as well. First brewing is going to have the, yeah, the sweetness, as I said before, but some people actually prefer the later brewings of these teas because you just get more raw power. So if you're looking for a really strong and flavorful cup of tea, you definitely want to pay attention to these later brewings. And um, there is a slight, slight color differential, you can see. It would be more apparent, I think, if we were using a larger quantity of water, but because it's so concentrated, you're getting that kind of green infusion in the first brewing. But the tea is definitely going to get uh, a darker green color with each subsequent infusion. So if you were just to brew this tea once and throw out the leaves, you'd only be getting one cup of tea for your five grams of leaves. But when you reuse the leaves, you get three times the amount of tea. And all of these teas can stand on their own as, um, you know, independent cups of tea. Definitely something you should be doing at home. It's going to save you some money. It's going to get you some more tea. And uh, you'll also have kind of a more uh, educational experience of the tea. So you'll be able to see kind of the sweetness in the first brewing. You'll be able to see, you know, more of the raw strength in the second brewing. And then in the third brewing, you get more into the acidity, more into the minerality, which is nice. And uh, if you're interested in trying the Nuruki Shincha, this is a tea that you can pick up on our website, neotees.com. We also have some other great Fukumushi Senchas on our website that you can try and compare to this tea. Uh, but thank you all so much for taking the time and watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, if you have any questions about this tea or about green tea in general, just feel free to leave those in the comments. But until then, we'll see you next time.